So uh, let's gonna see how can we apply the method of uh, optimal control theory to our uh, uh, depletion uh, model, natural resource depletion model. The table that you see he here on the uh, left gives us uh, um, a method for uh, solving uh, uh, optimal uh, um, so dynamic optimization problems uh, in general. So it is a uh, very uh, generic tables that tell us how to solve not just our specific uh, uh, problem, but uh, a wide set of uh, problems. While uh, what we put here on the on the right it is our specific natural resource depletion models. So the terminology is a little bit uh, different. Uh, in the table, they employ uh, the X uh, symbol for uh, state variables and the U for uh, control variable. For us, state variables, we, we said that are the stock of natural resources and the stock of capital, while the control variable for us are uh, the consumptions uh, and the level of extractions. Uh, what you see here in bold are uh, vectors. So uh, for example, here is uh, represented the set of equation of motions that we have uh, represented here. One note from uh, uh, this table. This table come from uh, an appendix, appendix 14.1 of uh, uh, the book uh, uh, we are following, that is the fourth edition, Bergman and others, Natural Resource and Environmental Economics. And uh, you will find that this appendix, together with other two appendix, 14.2 and 14.3, in the resource uh, folder of this course. So in in this appendix 14.1, it is given the general way to solve uh, uh, dynamic optimization problems. In the appendix 14.2 is more or less what we are doing on the slides. It applied it on our specific problems. And uh, we will see on the appendix 14.3 that um, gives uh, uh, the extensions, the method to solve the extensions that we'll see in a few slides when we will consider uh, extraction cost and uh, uh, renewable resources. So what this table tell us? But the general uh, uh, objective is to solve, uh, to maximize a uh, 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 functions um, that uh, is uh, uh, subject to uh, some uh, control variables. And uh, uh, in general, the functions that we must, we want to optimize, that actually is the integral over the function that we want to, to optimize, depend from our control variables, from the state variables, and eventually could depend also from t. We said that in our case, the utility depends from, from the consumption. So because consumption depends from T, also utility depends from T, but uh, only through these links here. The, the way that utility depends from consumption in our model is fixed. So actually in our case, we don't have uh, this value, this, uh, this, uh, uh, this link. And as well, we don't have uh, uh, that the objective functions depend from uh, from the uh, state variable. It in our case, will depend only from the control variables. In many applications, what you want to optimize is actually a, a, a sum of uh, this, uh, uh, this function plus a final uh, functions that depend on the state at the last moment of time that you want to, at the final moment of time you want to consider. Again, this is a generic case, but in our, uh, uh, in our specific model, we don't have this one, so we can just ignore it. So our system is made by these uh, uh, functions uh, to, uh, to maximize, subject to a set of uh, um, 
of equation of motions, of differential equations over the state variables, and importantly, a set of initial conditions. For ours, uh, the initial conditions are uh, the amount of stock of natural resources and capital that is available. You can see here the table split first in two parts and then in, in, in four because uh, it gives us uh, uh, the way to solve a uh, different kind of optimization problems. On one kind, you may have some problems where the state at the, um, at the final time, it is, uh, um, it is uh, uh, fixed, it must be some, so how you have initial condition, you have also final condition, and in we, we are uh, within this case because we have said that we must solve the problem such that the stock of uh, uh, natural resources at our final uh, moment in time must be equal to zero. After you have these distinctions here, you have the distinctions also what about the final moment in times. Some, in some cases, you may have that uh, you, your problem is of, is of a nature that the uh, final moment in time is uh, exogenous to, to the problem. So you say you want to maximize this function over the next 100 years, for example. In other case, the moment in time where you want to uh, optimize these functions, it is part of the optimization uh, itself. It is endogenous to the optimizations. And uh, in our case now, we set a moment, um, infinite ta horizont time and uh, when it is infinite we have to consider it like it is endogenous we'll see in the next lesson where we stand we'll consider a f finite uh, a time but still will stay in this class of problems of endogenous uh, endogenous uh, time horizont so we have to consider this column here and uh, how we um, proceed? Well, we proceed in a way very similar to uh, the Lagrangian multiply methods, that is, we build uh, this Hamiltonian, that again, in the most general uh, forms, um, depends on, uh, on uh, the state variable of the control of time and of what we call here co-state variables, equivalent to the Lagrange multipliers. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, Hamiltonian is made of our original functions without the integral, plus for each uh, uh, equation of motion of these co-state variables that multiply the equation of motions. In this form is uh, or a little bit complex uh, uh, to operate. So what we can do is that we can simply uh, uh, multiply the uh, Hamiltonian in uh, present value and by these terms to obtain the Hamiltonian, we call it in current value. And uh, uh, when we do this one, we these terms disappear and we just uh, replace uh, our previous uh, um, our previous co-state variables by a uh, new uh, co-state variables that again is expressed in a current value. What what gives us the co the co-state variable? The co-state variable gives us um, how much the Hamiltonian would increase by an additional mar unit at the margin of uh, the state variable. So it gives, uh, in a certain sense, the, uh, the value of our uh, state variable. And in this case, we are interested in the value of the stock of natural resources and the value of, uh, of the stock of, of, uh, of capital. And because we are uh, maximizing here the utility, we are not maximizing a monetary units, the value that we, we obtain by the co-state variable is expressed again in terms of uh, uh, current value utility. So the, um, the uh, optimal control theory give us, uh, uh, tell us that to maximize this uh, Hamiltonian, uh, we have, to, pardon, to maximize our original functions uh, uh, subject to these uh, uh, intertemporal constraints, we can maximize the Hamiltonian 
over the control variables and also we can uh, uh, create this equation of motion of the co-state variables and this is called adjoint equations in, 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 uh, in uh, this way. So uh, the um, results, the resolution of our problem will imply to apply these uh, uh, equations here. And also because we are in this uh, in this category, we are the the value of the Hamiltonian at the time equal to infinite, and we we don't have this final uh, function here must be equal to zero. So let's gonna uh, proceed from uh, this general case and let's see how we can apply this general case to our specific problem. So. Let's gonna build the, the Hamiltonian. The Hamiltonian so is made of our original uh, functions to maximize, plus the, cost, the two co-state variables that uh, uh, not by chance we call p because we said that uh, the co-state variables associated to the um, stock of natural resources it is its price, plus what we call uh, the, the price of, of capital, we call it omega, but multiply against the equation of motions of, of capital. So P and omega are uh, the, in our case, in our model, the co-state uh, uh, variables and represent the shadow price of uh, the resource for P and the capital for omega. Again, notice here importantly that both have a time index. So, uh, these two uh, co-state variables are not constants across times, but uh, we'll see how they, they change. How they change across time? Well, given by this equation. So when we uh, uh, when we uh, translate these equations in terms of the notation that we, we have in our model, we end up with these two equations. So keep these two equations because we'll uh, see in a moment what what they mean. And uh, also when we take the first derivative of the Hamiltonian with respect to the two, co two uh, control variable uh, um, consumption and uh, natural resource extractions, we end up with these other two equations that are the first order conditions for the maximization of the Hamiltonian. So out of all uh, this, uh, this, this, uh, this table and these equations, just keep with uh, these uh, four, uh, uh, four equations.